in the uh, <laughs> example on the last page here it says name the pairs of triangles that are similar so in the first diagram here um, we're told that BC is parallel to DE and so since BC is parallel to DE that means that the corresponding angles are equal and so angle B here or A BC, this angle right here, should be equal to angle ADE, this angle right here. And so I'll put some symbols here. Angle ABC in that triangle should equal angle ADE in this triangle. And also the corresponding angles ACB and A ED, they would also be equal as well. We have a common angle up here, this angle A is the same in both triangles. It's uh, B, A, C in this triangle. It's also D, A, E in the large triangle. And so these two triangles are similar. A, B, C would be similar to A, D, E. It's very important to write this in the proper order. For example, angle A or point A is the same in both triangles, but point B corresponds to point D or angle B corresponds to angle D in the uh, large triangle. So notice if I have B second here I need D second in this triangle and this uh, point C corresponds to E in the larger triangle or ACB corresponds to angle AED. So if I, where I see C in the first one I need E in the last. So ABC is similar to ADE. In the diagram over here, again, we have a pair of parallel lines. And we don't have corresponding angles here. Instead, we have alternate angles. So this angle right here, angle M, in this triangle would equal angle Q. Remember the Z pattern and parallel lines? So those two are called alternate angles, and they would be equal. Similarly, angle P and angle N would be equal as well. And so we have a pair of equal angles. If we want to state the third, this angle, MON, in the top triangle, should equal POQ in the bottom triangle because they're opposite angles. And so now we have three pairs of equal angles, and so the triangles have to be similar. Now notice that angle M correspond to angle Q. So if I start writing out the similar triangle relationship, then M and Q correspond. Also, P and N correspond. So where you see P in the, in the uh, one triangle, you, see, you should see N in the other. And so I would write the relationship like this. M, N, O is similar to Q, P, O. Again, M corresponds to Q. And uh, N corresponds to P. So notice I have N second here, so I need P second here. And O are the same in both. And so that's a similar relationship in B. In C, we'll actually use sides instead of angles. Notice that every side in the second, a larger triangle, is twice the size of the sides in the first triangle. And so the ratio of 5 to 10 is the same as the ratio of 6 to 12. So uh, GH corresponds to the JK side is also equal to the ratio of 7 to 14. So the FH side in the first triangle corresponds to the IK side in the second. So notice that when I write my similar relationship here, notice that F, F is the side between the 5 and the 7. So it should correspond to the uh, uh, letter between the 10 and 14, which is the I. So F corresponds to I. G is the side, sorry, the, the vertice between the 5 and the 6 side. So it should correspond to the vertice between the 10 and the 12, corresponds to the J. And then also uh, H is the side between the 7 and the 6, so it should correspond to the side between the 14 and the 12, or the 12 and the 14, which is the K here. And so just make sure that you have those written in the proper order. Again, F corresponds to I, so F, G, H, I, J, K. G and J correspond. Notice that uh, I have G and J both second here, and H and K as well. 
So FGH is similar to IJK. So you can use equal angles or corresponding sides being in the same proportion, like in C here, to show that triangles are similar. And that's the end of the lesson.